Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival of This, and we return to the Long Dark Winter Mute. So, last episode, we lucked out so hard on so many good things. We're going to start dropping all of our stuff off in here, though, like we did before. Because we still have a few things to go about and find around us. So I just want to lighten our load up if we can. Actually, we should probably put those on. There we go. Ooh. What else can we drop off? Oh, I'm not wearing those or those. Not wearing those at the moment. That I think we are waiting for. You know, we'll swap that out and just drop that off. Food wise, we can drop all the cans of dog food for now. Uh, the water will drop a lit ah, we'll drop a liter and a half of that. And the food will drop off in here. I think we'll even drop the rifle off. Yeah, so that's a good bit back for weight. And there was something I wanted to repair. Yeah, this right here. Let's see about repairing that. We've got to let ourselves warm up a little more anyway. There we go. Okay, so we got all of that there, and then it was in the top drawer? Yeah, we had all of this to take back with us, too. Oh, look at how much if I can we left here. here. Okay, so this will all definitely be coming back with us. This right now will just be to get this church artifact, or hopefully get it. Oh, another flare there. Eh, we'll sleep for two hours. Just get ourselves a little bit more warmed up. Let our rest restore. Yeah, our meters are good. So now we'll try to go and find this church artifact. Because we do have the revolver ready. And it's actually... Very warm out, so I think I will even work at just trying to sprint a bit. It's supposed to be up in the mountains to the left a bit. If we can get up there, grab that, make our way back, and leave during the same day, that'll be perfect. Because the wind has died down, and it might even be dead right now. This would honestly be super perfect weather to start going back on if I could, but I know in the first episode of, of Winter Mute, and actually I don't even think the second had that many side options to explore. No, the second one did have a few side options to explore, it's just that they were still rather out of the way. Because there was stuff I think with the old, with one of the lookout towers and Mystery Lake and somewhere else. But I haven't really done too much of the side stuff when I've been doing this, so I figure we'll work a little bit more into things as we've gone along now. We've got our revolver handy with plenty of ammo. We also did a little bit of cleaning, so that's prepped much better. So... Must just be over this way. Yeah, I can see another building up ahead that way. So my guess is the, whatever the artifact is, it's going to be there. And I just can't get over how nice of a day this turned into. Here's Skeeter's Ridge. So somewhere up here is going to be that artifact. Let's do a little looking around. Ooh. We do need firewood for the stockpile back there. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get into this. Okay. Mesquite cabin near Skeeter's Ridge. It said it was somewhere up here. Oh, no, is it in this little box here? 
No, just some crackers. Oh, mountaineering rope and a coal bin. Okay, well, that'll definitely get us a lot of fuel for quality tools. Eh, what the hell. We're kind of being a hoarder with Astra this go-around. Let me see. Okay, so it's a side mission. Blackrock, Force Talkers. Uh, do, do, do. Church Artifact. Here we go. Go to Skeeter's Ridge Basement. Okay, so that's what we gotta look for, is a little hatch or something lead us down into a basement. So I'm trying to remember where that is. It's off of one of these houses, because I think one of the challenges for the Long Dark, like Hunted Part 1, you can get like a little refuge in a basement. At least I thought you could. There it is. What do we got down here? Search behind the loosened boards. And I wish it wasn't... Oh! This is Mali History Part 3. Now it said collapse. That locals didn't notice the brunt of change all that quickly. So custom remote living already several years before life shifted in a dramatic fashion. Residents, residents did begin to notice the growing scarcity of few creature comforts imported to the island, but connected as they were through regular reports from the regional weather service radio station, post-collapse isolation took some years to set in. Oh boy, and there's even more goodies here, aren't there? Yep, more water. Not that we need any of that. First aid kit. Loose boards. Oh, thankfully it weighs nothing. Perfect. We'll take that back. No, oh, we return to the church. Um, no, I don't want to look for anything there. Oh, more firewood. Oh god, we're going to be completely loaded for this challenge. Well, this next objective. Let's quickly go back and start picking up everything we're taking with us. I almost wish we could drag a sled behind us as we go. Like, this is an incredible amount of stuff, and all the firewood and that's already up to this much, so... We might even leave the hunting rifle behind, but we'll see. We'll see, depending on what we have. I could always leave the firewood behind, because I think with the coal, that's about two hours of duration you get from it. Approximately, maybe. Either way, I am just dumbfounded about how much stuff we've gotten. And damn, I wonder how loaded out I would have had Will going through his story mode if I did all the side stuff. The wind is starting to pick up a bit, though. It'll just be a very long march back with everything we all pick up at the cabin. Wise, we have to be pretty close. With the MRE, the wolf meat, and all the dog food, that should be enough. And I'm not going to be a stickler for, ah, uh, we could get them better. They're NPCs. It's just a little quest goal to me. It's not going to be something that has a long-running consequence to it. It is getting a little colder. Or just where the wind... 
can get us if it's getting colder. There it is, our little sanctuary all the way out here. I'd like to take the hunting rifle back just because if we are a little short of food, we can use that to quickly down a deer or anything large. Actually, I think it's based... Oh, speaking of deer, there it is. We definitely won't be taking you down, Bambi. You got lucky this time around. We got so much crap that we can't really have the storage capacity take anything else. I really do wish, though, we could make a sled of some kind that I could load up and just kind of drag around with us. We can't drag it up anything... Oh, looks like a wolf farther back, too. So we'll be ready once we come out in case they're bother. It looks like it might just be the one. Could well be just that one of the two that we were dealing with before. Okay, back inside we go. So let's honestly just start picking every single thing we have here up. And I'll see what we're kind of facing once this is all back in our inventory. That's our Scott. Oh god, there's gonna be so much weight now once this is all. Yeah, you can see we're barely moving now. Okay, firewood-wise, we'll keep all the coal, but I think we will leave the proper wood behind. So I think that's like two hours for that compared to those, so I'm just giving one hour. Health supplies, I gotta keep all that because I know we need a lot of the antiseptics. We will leave the clothing behind that we're not wearing. Food-wise, we don't need that much water. We should be able to get by with just the 0.81. I don't think we need the mountaineering rope. So we can probably keep that back. Uh, materials, the cloth. I think we have all the bandages we need, so I don't think we need that. Still like to try to get down a little more, though. Think, think, think. Uh, flares probably like to keep. No, we'll drop one of the lanterns and we'll drop the quality tools. We don't need those. We'll get rid of the improvised knife because the hunting knife's much better in every regard. And get down two more kilograms somewhere. You know what? I'm going to eat and drink and see how that does for things. Because that'll free up a little more room with us too. Okay, almost there. We'll get rid of some of these go things. And fire supplies. Want to keep that? Oh, so close. No, let's drop four bandages. We don't need that many. And you know what? We'll drop anything moldy. Keep that and that, though. I think that should hopefully be enough to keep us moving. It's not super quick. Oh, rifle cartridge. We will take that. But it should be enough that we can make our way back to... the community hall okay. Yeah, we actually even could still run, so that's a good sign. And it's not too bad of a trip back either. Church artifact will bring back. See what that does or gives or whatever. I don't know if it's going to be something like Resident Evil where you put the statue back in place and then a secret compartment opens up and there's a goodie inside. Who knows? Well, it makes me wonder, would there be a place in the Long Dark for a shotgun? 
I think it would only really ever be implemented if there were, like, birds. It would probably be pretty effective, at, well, possibly effective against a bear, depending on the type of shotgun slugs, or shotgun shells you can find. Slugs being the best choice in that situation. I have to find something to talk about. We're in for a long hike back, so uh, we'll think about that. Is there anything that could still be added to the long dark? Honestly, I don't really think so. You've got the food chain done in a very good way. Rabbits, deer, wolves, bears, even moose now. I don't think you need anything new like weaponry. That's one thing I do have to really praise them for was that the lack of weapons does make for a better game like this for survival. Because as soon as you do find a way of being able to secure yourself and hunt and gather food, things do become much easier. And I think having too much abundance of that will really kind of impact and harm the full experience you get with the Lock Dark. Clothing, while well, they've added snow pants and a lot of other features that were missing, or really sh well, I shouldn't say should have been in there, but definitely proper that they're in now. So there's nothing really there to add. I don't really know what direction they would take things for the long dark. It's basically full re release. It's just really letting the story continue along and seeing what they kind of throw in there. I think content-wise for items or equipment, everything is really here. The only thing, like I said, is maybe a small sh sled or something you could kind of cobble together, but I don't know if that would really work too well. I mean, they did show you were, they were capable of giving you something like the other people take care of, and I wonder if you would even be able to have like a multiplayer experience in the long dark with a feature like that added. It might be too troublesome though to manage the inventory and the rendering of sorts, but it's an interesting idea now that they've thrown that to us in the story mode. I doubt it'll come too, but you never know. Hell, if they ever add modding support, although I don't know what you would really mod into the game, but if they ever did add mod support, that might be something the team would work on. Okay, so how are we doing? Oh damn, we're going to make it back, no problem! We're just a-cruising down here. Ah, oh, you're not that cold, Astrid. I mean, you are getting colder, but you're not maybe that badly off. You've definitely been much colder with me behind your, the wheel of, of ya. That just sounds weird. Like I told you, it's a long march, so you're in store for a lot of weird... Okay, just a rock. I was going to say, did we have another bear there? Which I should make sure that in our flare gun is... Oh, no, it must be in two. Oh, there's the little cabins that passing by. I do wish it was a little easier to get back to... Oh, that's exactly how I could get to those faster. I'm just being silly. Okay, so flare shell is loaded in case we do come across a bear. I am not going to try to hunt it. With all the stuff we have on us right now, it'd be dumb try. We just want to secure what we've got. Oh, you want to try there, pal? Come at me. Come on. Yeah, I didn't think so. See how you bastards like a little bullet in ya. Not so tough once you've been shot. Oh, are you trying to come back and be brave? You want to come walking by, that's fine, but you want to growl and snarl at me, I will put another cap in you. Actually, I think, yeah. Oh no, that's the body of the other one that we took down where we got the meat from. Could you see that one persisted? So that was one of the bugs that they did fix, was the timber wolves that you would take down, their bodies would remain if you did transition between indoor and outdoor zone. Because that was one little, nut, well, I shouldn't say nugget of meat, but one chunk of meat that we did lose out on because of that little bug back there. 
but I'm not going to hold it against it. Hinterland Studios is probably... I have to say, I would probably say it's the best develop developer studio I've really encountered or had the pleasure of playing one of their games. They've always been thinking about the players, and they've always had their hearts into the project and the game. Like, for them to have gone, gone back and redone the first few episodes of Wintermute for no charge when the game was already full release and not looking for any more funding or Kickstarter or whatever, that is speaks volumes to how great Hinterland is. I really just can't praise them enough for how well of a how great of a job they've done with the game. It's just superb. It is easily, and I will I will debate and fight that The Long Dark is the best survival game out on the market right now and for the foreseeable future, because I don't really see anybody else. Okay, just running away. I heard him scampering. I thought he was coming towards us. I don't see anybody else even trying to bring a... hold a candle up to it, really. Oh, nice piece of soundtrack coming in. Like, my favorite survival games, Easily Long Dark, Flame in the Flood. I can't really say Raft. It would be if there was a bit of an easier way to get to islands and you could make more progress and you just kind of have to randomly stop and spot one. What other survival ones are really good that I play a lot of? Um, don't Starve, if it had some better combat mechanics and the world was a little more diverse and just easier to kind of interact with than it is, it'd probably be one, but I just can't say I find Don't Starve incredibly fun. Like, it has moments where you do enjoy yourself and find little leaps and bounds, but nothing that really feels like you want to get so dedicated and sunk in. Or, like my experience with it on the channel, you do, and then you suddenly have the giant come in and wreck all your shit, which you just don't do in a survival game. That just throws every aspect of it kind of out the window. Trying to think of what else for survival games I've got right now. Um, what have I gone through, really? I have tried things like DayZ and The Isle. DayZ, I feel like the control scheme is just so out there in a lot of ways that it's kind of hard to get a good grasp on everything you really can do or remembering all the key binds as a new person coming into it. Uh, the Isle... The Isle I have a problem with because there's not... I feel like you need more of an AI component in there as well. You're trying to basically have it simulated wildlife, but you have human minds behind every single animal. So there's going to be that conflict of what would actually be, and a lot of servers have rules in place to try to regulate, regulate the behavior so it does feel more like that. And also the aisle, it's kind of hard to say what the hell it's coming out to be. Like, when it first got onto Early Access in Steam, it, I thought it was supposed to be, like, a sort of three-faction face-off on the island, in a way. Because there were supposed to be the dinosaurs, mutant cannibal things, and people or mercenaries. Now it's changed into entirely dinosaur-focused, but there's these special strain variants, and there's this company. It's just kind of weird. It still has a lot of ways to go, but it's kind of hard to remember what direction was taken with it. And trying to do a video, there's so much time where you can't really do much or anything that it's hard to record without cutting a lot of footage out. Like, it's one of those... One of those games I can imagine you could record an hour, but only get like 10 minutes of footage you'll use for a video, because nothing happens in the rest of the time. Are there any other survival games I've got on PC right now? Uh, Seven Days to Die is one that I might check out further, depending on how things go. Subnautica is actually going to be a series I'm going to... Actually, might even be going along the week before you guys see this episode. 
Because my recording schedule and what videos I've recorded for are all over the place right now. I wish I could have like a little office. I go in for eight hours a day, record for four or five, set up the rest to render, edit, and upload, or hell, even just a place where I can properly and have a set schedule of when I could and don't have to worry about things in between. But I think my ranting and blabbering will be coming to an end because we are finally making our way back to the community hall. And with that, we can transfer all kinds of stuff over. And we'll possibly be ready for the next step of the story. Just have to see how much stuff I have on us and whether that'll all count towards reaching every goal or if we're going to be short enough spot or two. But here we are, what's become home sweet home for us now. Oh, and there's the father and everybody just laying around. Okay, what can we throw in the storage cupboard? Gonna start with firewood and all the coal. Okay, we're just a little short there. Disappointing, but at least we know we're close. Here. We're two antiseptic away, so if we make the dressings, we should be fine. Food-wise, though, those can go in. The MRE can go in. The dog food. And I think we can even cap that off. There we go. Food's taken care of. And for the gas, we'll transfer. There we go. Kerosene taken care of. So it's just a little more firewood and the bit of old beer dressing. So let's make the dressing right now. I think it's just two of these. Or does one give two? No, just one. Okay, so two of those will handle that. Then we just need to find a little bit of wood, add it in, and we're done. There we go. You know what? I think we'll try at the church. Because we'll see what we've unlocked with the church artifact. I think we're actually probably doing pretty good for... Yeah, we're actually under our carrying li limit too, so that's good. Just make our little way up to there, see what's in the church. I'm just... Oh, ooh, that might even be our last bit of wood there, that crate. Feels so good to have progressed as we have. Ladder could probably... Actually, depends on if that's a wood or a metal ladder. Could always just break that down for a few things. Okay. So I'm guessing this is where it goes. I thought it was, because of the cross there. Oh, here we go. I should make the priest happy. I should check back tomorrow. What do you mean? You know where the father is. You can't just go tell him. Oh, oh actually, there's a scarf there. A book. Oh, let me see. Anything else good that we missed? Oh, matches. Water bottle. Just some cloth. Nothing else really here. So we'll quickly head outside, break down that crate, get the reclaimed wood, toss that in, and then check in with Father Thomas and see what we have next. I don't see any other coal boxes around, because that actually probably would have been a good thing to try looking at. No, actually... Didn't even check this one. Yeah, that's probably going to be all the coal we need for. We'll just run in here so that way we can say we have another length of the story done. Is 
Is there a way to just put the one in? Oh, one more. There we go. Oh, achievement unlocked. Hippocratic Oath. Perfect. So let's talk to the father now. Oh, there he is. I wonder, how is he holding up? Now, I know we have to talk to him. We're right here to talk to him. I guess maybe we have to talk to him down here? Okay, I'm kind of confused. Oh, here we go. Thank you for your efforts. You have likely saved the lives of all these Aww, people. Oh, Father. They now have a fighting chance to last through I really storm. like them. You have done God's work here, and he will forever look favorably upon you. Thank you, Father. Do you think while looking favorably on me, he could also help me find a way out of here? As I said, the usual paths usual. are blocked. But the blizzard, it may have displaced enough snow to... To what? There is another route. It's a dangerous one. Through the mountains. I'll take my chances. I really need to get to Perseverance Mills. If things are this bad here, they'll be worse. Look, I just need to get there. Can you help me? An entrance to the old coal mine. If the blizzard moved enough snow, you might be able to get in there. It passes through the mountain. After that, you'll find the highway. It follows the coastline. Follow the highway, and God willing, you'll get to Perseverance Mills. Here, I'll draw it on your map for you. Thank you, Father. Oh, damn, that's... My thanks to you, my child. And if you'll permit an old priest an indulgence, I'd like to share some wisdom with you. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Father. Your burden. I see it weighs heavily on you. I, I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. You do not have to carry it alone. Look, thank you, Father. But religion isn't really... I don't say this as an attempt to sway your thinking or help you find faith. But find something, someone, to help with your burden. Otherwise it will consume you. Look around you, Father. I think the Lord may have his hands full right now. He's not saying God. Whatever burdens I may have... He's saying just someone. And mine alone. Astrid. However crowded his table, there is always a seat for you, my child. I'll keep it in mind, Father. Here, you should take this back. Keep it, my child. I fear you will have need of it before this long winter is done. I don't think he was specifically saying believe in God, but just have somebody helping you through this. But, okay. So, is the mine he's talking about... That's Black Rock. That's the ghost stag thing. Okay, I'm guessing we're also going to get a call from Molly. And this, we're probably going to be traveling through a blizzard next. That's what I thought. Hello, Molly. Wow. I hate to be a foregone conclusion. Well, I don't seem to get a lot of other calls out here. I want to know something. Why did you work so hard to help those strangers? Would they have done the same for you? I have no idea. I doubt they would. You probably work all day, every day. Bust your ass to help people. Delivering babies or researching or whatever it is. <laughs> Sure, 
but I don't do it for that. <laughs> you don't do it for recognition because you don't get any. What is this about, really? I could have been something, too. Something more than a farmer's wife. Something more than a cattleman's daughter. <laughs> I'm sure you could have, Molly. Don't patronize me. I could have been something. But I let him stop me. I let myself be small so he could feel like somebody. I gave up everything for him. And to him, I didn't even exist. I let him make me small. Less than nothing. What happened to him, Molly? you wait so long to tell me? Well, I didn't know if it'd work. And also, girl gets lonely out here, I guess. It was nice to have someone to talk to. This is interesting, because that's where Will is supposed to be going. Signal Hill is where Will is supposed to be off to in order to send that signal out. That is so interesting. And of course we have to leave things right there. But thank you guys very much for joining me on another episode of Long Dark Winter Mute. This is going to be a super interesting next couple of episodes. If there are a couple of episodes left. I'll check when I save the game what progress we're at, but oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is really, really going to be interesting getting into some juicy stuff now. Thank you guys very much for joining me on another episode. If you do like the series, be sure to leave a like or comment on a video. Let me know. I'm always looking for feedback or a way to interact with you guys. And if you do want to stay up to date and help with the channel growing and just kind of getting its feet, maybe think about subscribing too. We're always welcoming new people to the survival of this community. Till I see you again though, please remember as always to take care and stay alive.